so welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I want to introduce my hometown in Japan. So I came back from the Philippines like two, year, two, two, two days ago and now I'm staying in my hometown. So any expectations are Japan, like Matasion buildings, Madaminta, or but my hometown is like this. Imagine, palayang lang yung area dito. Diba maganda? So, talagang taga probinsya ako. So, I think it's opposite to what you expected. Kasi, syempre maganda sa Japan. Maganda yung building, maganda yung madaming tao. Pero like this, my hometown is like this. So, parang iba, diba? Iba yung expectation mo. So, so I just wanted, I just wanted to share kasi it's, I think, uh, it's kind of few people from province. I mean, Japanese people who stay in the Philippines and from province. So I just want to share my hometown. It's like this, walang tao. Walang tao, walang koche. Sa middle ng karsada, as in wala talagang tao, di ba? Oh, di ba? Ganon talaga yung hometown ko. So, walang tao as in. So, my hometown, uh, my hometown is famous about like you know agriculture and of course the, the fruits harvesting. There are a lot of foreign workers like OFW din meron din dito. And I think it's gonna be it's gonna be fun like if I invite Filipinos, Filipino friend here in my hometown because you can really experience the real life in the province in Japan. So yeah, baganda. But you know, there is no inconvenience or in inconvenience here because the you can find a Seven Eleven or a supermarket and. Uh, the atmosphere is very chill and calm down but the problem here is if you don't have any transport like like uh motors or coche as in wala talagang common transport here in my place so you have to really adjust or you have to really know about someone who can drive or you might you can get the we can get the on top of your license here, but it's kind of hard for foreigner to get the driver's license here in Japan. So thank you so much. So I want to see you on next video. Bye.